Motor. Get a motor. Car closing is not everyone. Yeah, and then you relax. And do it again. Make the back legs go. Not the front, not the front. Gather, gather, close your fist. And flex. Yeah, flex him again. Now, yeah, now he starts to round up. And you do it again. Put him on a circle. Do it about four million times. Yeah, the horse will get rounder and rounder. Hind legs quick. Not the front, not the front. Catch him. Oh, you're going to be quicker. Hind legs, hind legs, hind legs, hind legs. Not the front. No, that was perfect. You saw what happened? That was perfect. He went to go. You said no. He went, I'll go round instead. You said, that's what it is. Clark, close your fist. Now try it again. Just play with it. Make it a game. Ha, ha. No, 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 no. Yeah, relax. Good. Ha, ha. Ha. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Relax. Yeah. And then and always a little reward when he does it. Yeah, good. A little softening. Yes. Now, see, now you can feel how loose and round he is there now. Now let the reins out and you and you let the sleeve stretch. Let him go right out, right out, right down. And you and when you want the big steps, you ride your left hip with his left front leg. Hello. And his right, your right, his right leg with your right hip. So you're saying bigger, bigger step. Bigger, bigger. There, that's it. Now he pushes out. Feel it? So you're actually right. Oh, thank you very much. You're actually riding what you want. You're riding your horse, right? You're riding the steps. You're controlling the steps. Now, when you want to shorten him up a little bit, it's exactly the same as what you were doing a second ago. Back legs quick. quick. Slow, 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 slow. Quick, slow, quick, slow, quick, slow. Be quicker. <laughs> I know it makes sound stupid, doesn't it? But that's that's how you ride him. Motor. It's not fast. Then, he, then he'll start to come onto the bit again. Starts to give his neck again. And if you're happy with his neck like that, if you think he's round enough for you, which he sort of is, to do, especially to do a, pre, a nice prelim test with a lovely um, medium walk, it's just going to be a little bit more active. We're all just having a little sleepy the way he's walking. Yeah, it's got to be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, pop, beep, pop. Yeah, it has to be interesting. He has to have a bit of a motivation. You know, you know that word? Motivation, yeah, he has to want to do it, yeah, he has to look keen, interested, marching, yeah, like that. So you say so you're still riding the walk. When the horse is connected to your hands, you're riding it. If you just suddenly let the reins go, the buckle, just throw the reins away, completely to the buckle, and you just flop around and slop around in the saddle, that's fine. You throw them away, now throw away to the buckle. Yeah, now you've said, you're on your own, let's just chill out. Right? So now you're, it's like going for a pleasure ride, a trail ride. You could be warming up when you first get on, right? You're doing all that sort of thing. But you're not, not, you're not riding him into the bit, are you? Yeah, and see, that, and, the, and this is perfectly fine as well. This is, this is chill out time, relax time. Now if, you start, now, if you start to put him back onto the bit, you're going to keep, oh, motor. Oh, I think I saw him stop. And you get to gather, gather the reins. You feel his mouth with both your hands so he knows you're there. Now it's the fast at the back, slow at the front stuff. Now you tell me when you think the walks, I'll like your walk. And remember, I'm pretty cranky. Up. Ah. When you do a test, yeah, little, you think that's okay? I think I'd like it just a little bit rounder. But it's got lovely purpose, not fast, not fast. Yep, little flexion, play with a little bit of bending, him, loosening to the inside. Make his neck soft and bendy. Yeah. One, two, three, four, one, two. Now that's a nice medium walk. The definition of a medium walk is a walk of moderate extension. It's People make the medium walk too short. It's a walk, it's when you have the long stretched out ex lengthened walk and you bring the neck up to that position, the horse shortens his stride just enough. That's it, lovely. There, one, two, three, four. Let your hands move a little bit with him, just quietly move. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Right, that's a perfect, that's lovely. That's a big mark in my book. Horse is thinking where he's going. He's quite loose, and it's a marching pace. Okay. Time to change gears, isn't it? Let's see some trot. Short, quick but short. Make him rounder. And then his, the first step is going to be a lovely trot stride. So his first thing, if you don't let him lift his neck up, don't try to hold him there. Do that little kick, block, soften, trot. Go. Round ah, you're holding. Kick, soft, soften your hands, trot. Yep, make him round. Give your hands legs. Good. There's transition. Pretty good transition. Now, I'm just a little bit bored. Yep, and one, drop, dip. That's a trot. 
step to step. Yeah, every step the same. If you're going downhill, so look at uphill and downhill, right? That's fine. When you start to go downhill, if he starts to run, all you do is lean back against him. Right? So if you feel him start, it's all got to be the same. And one, and two, and two, one, and two, two, tuck, two, tuck, tuck. Perfect. Lovely. You do that tomorrow. I reckon. Pretty good, eh? Yeah. And then you start doing a lovely circle there. Remember, I can see you down the other end. You might decide to go and do a circle somewhere else. Then you start thinking, I better follow the track. I better start being a bit accurate. I better start really steering. Tita, tita. That's a lovely trot. Lovely trot. A bit sick of this circle left. Go and do something else. But make sure from track to track, you, I've got to know what you're going, because at the moment you're not doing a 20 metre circle, it's about 18. I know, I know it might be messy on the edges, but it might be messy tomorrow too. Oh, there's someone walks the dog and the horse. That's Anwin. Oh, is it? Oh, of yep. course. Tita. 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 Tick. 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 Keep the rhythm. Keep the rhythm. If he slows down, give him a kick. If he goes too fast, give him a check. Rhythm. Rhythm. Oh, oh a bit more. When, it's, when, it, when the ground's a bit deep, just kick him harder. Right? So tell him to jump up out of the sand, mate. And you can do it. Good. Now, if you're on the other diagonal, it would be pretty damn good. Good. So all these things we have to think about. Yeah, there's a lot, isn't there? And now, I want you to tell you, is it too boggy right on the edge? Is no. Is it too boggy? Is the track too boggy? I want you Not to go around the arena like, like in a test. On the edge, right, into the corners. The corners might be a bit hard to get into. Yeah. Following the track, doing certain things. There, I can't see any letters, but there's posts. Right, there's posts, there's gates, there's trees. You can take all your straight lines and your dressings from all right. Now, before you turn, before he changes direction, before he does a corner, I've got to see a little bit of flexion to the right. So, right leg, right leg, show him where he's going. On, off, show him, show me where he's going. Yeah, he can show me a bit more clearly than that. That's not bad, he's not looking the wrong way. When horses go, yeah, keep him in front of you. When horses go do tests, they mustn't look out. Flexion, right? A little bit more. Use your right leg, right rein. On off. Just take it. Yeah, give a smack. Take it towards his neck. He only does exactly what he has to, doesn't he? Very good. And I think he does jump so well, you know? He's yeah. Good. But I have to almost get him feeling hot to yeah. get him to jump yeah. well. Yeah. Like I'll I have to. I have to really rouse yeah, him up. Yeah. yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Jump. 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 Bop, show me where he's going. Yeah, we'll do a circle in the middle this time, right? Or some, not at the end. Show me where he's going. Oh, no, no, um, you'll show me where you're looking. But just do this. Just do this. Right leg, right rein. Just turn his eyes to the right. Have a look down. Watch him. And make him concave. Make his neck muscles disappear to the right. Push a little bit sideways with your right hand. Make him, yeah, make him look more, a bit more to the right. Have a look down. Make it, yeah. See, make him look a little bit more to the right. There. Now feel his neck soft. Now you have a look down and memorise that picture, right? So you found where he's looking, when he was looking right around on the circle properly, he made a softer neck. Right now, see, now, do it again. Show me where he's going. Show me. Yeah, and, and every stride, have a little look down now, look at your eyes. Yeah, he's got a, yeah, put the neck in the same spot. And put the neck in the same spot again. So every step of that circle right, your horse looks to the right where he's going. Then you can go, then you can start to change your circle. There, like that. Now, so have a little look down with your eyes. Don't look too far ahead. You look a long way ahead when you're looking for the next jump. But I don't see a lot in here. And that circle has gone back to being a 19 metre circle. Go large now, go around the wall. Every now and again, just for no reason at all, think I'm going to go bigger. Hop, 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 hop. Go forward and now relax, relax, relax. Let him relax. Flexion, right? You see, you're not there. Yeah, over here, there's a track right over here. Yeah, mm -hmm. here, here it is. Yeah, he's got to be on that track. Now ride your corner. Push him into it with your inside leg and rein. Push him in. Like that. Now flex him and come out. And the next one. Push him into it. Now flex him right. And now come out of it. That's how you ride a corner. Now you're going to ride a 20 metre circle. You choose where you start. Show him, do that, look down, check, it, check his neck, check his neck. Yep. Yeah, is he bent to the right? Is it going to be? I don't think so. Nice. 
the eighteen and a half metre circle. Now, if the judge sees that, have a little walk for a sec. You, there's nothing. Your riding's good. Your horse looks lovely, but you are just saying, "Take marks off me," right? You don't have to be a very good judge to know that that was not a twenty metre circle. So, if you lose two marks, where's the test? You just lose two marks on just just not riding an accurate circle. Is it the one? Is this? Is it the one three? Yeah, the one one and the one three. Okay, it's out of <coughs> two two hundred and thirty marks. Two marks, for, and, and and that's a nice judge only docks you two marks. A cranky one might dock you three. Two point three marks is a percent. That's how important those marks are. So it's very easy to drop marks just from not remembering to be so accurate because you want to say you're not going to give the judge any opportunity to take those two marks off you. It's like if you speak, if they hear you speak, if, you, if, I'm, if the judge is up here and the wind's blowing the right way and you click your tongue and do a little bit of talking to him down there, fine. It doesn't, it doesn't say you're not allowed to talk to a horse. It says you must not be heard. And I hope it's going to happen great. I've been this lady I've been warning. You're going to give a little push and a block, and, it, and as he softens, you're going to go trot. And the first trot stride is the one that we want to see through, through all the whole test. So you're going to prepare him, give a little bit, and boom, trot. Transition. Go. Cheat up. Make it interesting. Have a little dance. A little song in your head. That's a nice trot. Did you? Now, if he's starting to go too fast, all you do is close your fists and bring your shoulders back. So, so practice slowing him down. Uh, practice bringing him back and going forward again. So you've got total control. Good. Keep up. If there's boggy patches in the arena, you just make them work. You make them go a little quicker so they can pull, jump out of the bog. Keep up. Keep up. Now you choose where there's going to be a circle. They go right around. I think it's usually in the middle. So you're going to choose where you leave the circle. You're going to make it 20 metres. You're going to keep the rhythm. You're on the correct diagonal, which is good. This is a lovely picture. And I and I check down where he's looking. And then check your line. And then check down with your eyes where he's looking. And pull your inside hand back. Just roll your wrist. Show him where to look. Yes! It's a loosening rein. Very good. So you can go large again. Dip, 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 dip. Go forward again. More forward. From your lower leg. Now bring him back, tighten your back, close your fist, little tiny little check so we can't even see. Very good. Now go into your corner and then come across the diagonal. So go right into the corner. Now choose the post, the second post, or third post from the end over there. Go straight at it. Now start to push him sideways with your right leg and your right rein so he flexes around the corner to the right. Yes! And see when you push into the corner, it makes it easier. Into the corner, push into it, flex in. Yeah, perfect, yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Then you're going to go right around and show me a perfect circle to the right again. Corner, corner. Yeah. Good. Now you're following track of the arena. Corner. Little flex. Yep. Circle. Little flex. 20 metre circle. Check back, check back, look back to him, look back to him. Yep, make sure he's coming with you. Your leg will push him over here. Okay, just, only just, only just. See your leg, go around again. Your inside leg, if you think the circle's not going to be fat enough, your inside rein, your inside leg, push him a little side, make it fatter, push him sideways. Push him sideways with your leg, push him sideways with your right rein, and you can get to exactly where you want to go. All right. So you don't turn their head left to make the circle bigger. Very good. And then I want to see some, yeah, then, then some sitting trot and some canter. Then go large again. Now don't look too far ahead. Look through his ears. Yeah, then, yeah, make sure, yeah, so that keeps you right behind him too. But make sure that you turn him in front of your eyes. On the track. On the track. <laughs> if you're doing it, just come down a metre off the track like that. Now just say you, you, you've just turned a little bit, you're a little bit off the track and you go, oh, Damn. You, all you do is push him sideways with your right leg and your right leg. Push him sideways. Leg yield over to the track. 
And see how, and that gets him onto it. See how important that is, it doesn't matter, inside hand is. Then you come down on the track, rock quite on that track, leg yielding over, now you're on the track. See, so you don't panic and nobody will notice. You don't turn their heads left to go back onto the track, you push them over. Okay, could have been a little bit rounder, that's all. But we're still very nice. Let's see if you're, oh yes, you're on the track. Your right leg holds him on the track. Can you ride a corner? Push into it, flex and release. Yep, push into it again. Right leg, right rein, push him sideways. Now flex him, make him soft. And he'll get soft there. Now see how he gets a bit softer? Your outside rein has him, but it doesn't pull him backwards. Flex before the corner. And just keep going, play with that little bit of flexing rein. On, off. You feel him go like this. You feel him just let his neck go like that. Do a circle, make sure you haven't got too much outside. Do a circle, inflection. I want to so I want I have to know where he's going. And again, another flex. Loosen his neck, play with him a little bit, on off. Now you're looking too far ahead, check where he's looking. There, feel him let go of his neck. Now go large. Your right leg will push him down the track. On the track would be nice. Hope you don't do this tomorrow, because you will if you if you think take a couple of percent off every time you do that. Whew, it's expensive, yes. Now you're going to flex him right before the corner, loosen him with your right leg and rein, play with him, on off, on off, make him do it, make him do it, insist, do it again, make him do it, make him react, yeah, but watch him, yeah, watch him, and you'll feel it, yeah, you'll see it as well as feel it. Right again, horses don't offer flexion right, we have to ask. Right leg on the girth, don't put it back, keep your right heel down, yeah, on off, round my right leg, on off, again, there, feel him just give a bit. Yeah, so that feels pretty good. It looks pretty good. Do it again. You can do it all through ten. Nobody can see. See what happens is if you don't correct stuff, we notice it. If you do correct it, it just looks right. Correct it again. Yeah, good. And watch. Have it look, look down with your eyes. Circle. Good canter too. Now look. Check him. Check him. Check him. Check him. Don't get too far ahead. Yeah, you can hit when you're looking for the next cross country jump. When you're looking for the next show jump, you've got to be a bit ahead of yourself. In in, in this, and now, did you, did you notice the size of that circle? No, she forgot. She's very consistent on 18 meters, yeah, I think. I haven't come across a test with 18 meter circle <laughs> or 19. Well, now, when you do that, as you're coming back, see, you have a little look. Check out when you're coming back. If you think, oh my God, I'm not going to make it. Push sideways with your inside hand and your inside leg. Push him sideways, sideways. It's still not there. We're going to be doing 4,000 circles. Now, like this. Like this. Get over there. Push him. He won't care. Push across his neck. Right leg, right leg. Push him sideways. Push him sideways. There. That's all you need to do. See, that makes the circle fatter. It's it's because it yeah and that makes him rounder and doesn't makes it? him rounder it looks yeah. nice now just block and release now get him out there again remember the aids don't put your left hand back it's got to come yes yeah horses don't mind being pushed everywhere good go large now your right leg will hold him on that on that line just flex and bend him yep keep your right leg as still as you can see if you can put the heel down and really make that leg still oh we're down the quarter line again. It all, the legs, they do move, they tend to. You just push the heel down. Now, when you want to trot, just straighten your body up, push on your stirrups, and just stop riding. And he comes to trot. Come back to trot. Just stretch up and wait. Yeah, you've got to get that. See that left hand? It's got a little bit of a fist. Look about it. And it gets a little bit away from your horse who is not on the track. So, come on, let's go around again. Let me show you. I want to see a little reflection and bend in the corners, loosening his neck. And I want to see your right leg a little bit more on the girth. You might have to feel that it's pushed forward. You know, push your right, the one closest to me. Push your heel down so your leg is forward. Kick him on the girth like this. See, feel it like that and kick like that. Because it kicks backwards and you haven't got quite the control that you need. Push him on, that's it, onto that track. Then you better have a little walk because you're probably going to die any minute. Quick at the back, not the front, not the front. Block release, yeah, on the outside, flex on the inside, yeah, it's always the same. Everything with horses is repetition of the same aid. So then they understand what we want. Now you've got to keep doing it till you feel that he's right. 
He's a little bit bouncy in the head, right? So you, you think, oh, I just want to get rid of a bit of that. Push and block, yep. Moving from the outside in. Hands stay close. Bring him over with your outside rein. Don't you let him pull towards the gate. He wants, looks to me like he wants to pull towards the fence. So moving closer to your left hand with your outside rein. Left hand stays there. You're going to pull him, push him over like this. Moving closer. Your left hand stays there. Bring the horse over closer to your left hand. And then he'll, yeah, then he'll straighten up a little bit. Then he'll start to drop his neck and like that. Can he start to relax his neck? So now he's straight. Yeah, they, horses tend to walk a little sideways when they go to the left. And they tend to fall in when they go to the right. They're not the same left and right as we are not the same left and right. Now, I'm a bit bored with the walk, however, because I'm watching you now, so you're ready to come in. So the judge's eye is on you. And just a pernickety, cranky judge too, I tell you. <laughs> so, yeah, good. So when you're ready, a transition to trot. Do a 20 metre circle down there. Make sure it's 20 metres. And then you're going to come down the centre line. Keep him, keep him active. If he gets bogged, kick him harder. Move him from the outside in. Till he feels he gives that little softening of his neck. From the outside. Left, left hand stays next to the neck. Titter, titter, titter. So the turn, you can kill all those plovers. So the turn is, on, is, a, is a 10 metre turn, which is rather hard. So next time you go around, look at those birds, aren't they amazing? You're going to make sure you get right over, get right over to the fence. You're going to turn down the centre line. It's a 10 metre half circle, which is quite a big turn, quite a steep turn. As you come out of the corner, look now, turn your eyes to me now. Now follow your eyes, bring him in, bring him over, bring him around, bring him around. Whoa, I think you're lined up with Lauren. Yep. Right, now, better do that again, right? You're going to line up with me. Oh, okay. Flexion, yeah, flexion right. Go right, yeah, doesn't matter. The, yeah, now just keep, make sure that right leg keeps him on that track. And you make sure he flexes softly in the corner. I'll tell now, when I tell you, you're going to look at me. Right, turn now, look at me now. Now follow your eyes, bring him over here. That's better. Now put your hands towards me. Now push him into them. Now sit down. Now keep looking at me and make him walk. So push him at me and walk and walk and walk and halt. Perfect. See, no stage did you pull him. You kept your eye. So you look at, if you eyeball the judge, they get a bit nervous. Look at C, <laughs> right? You look at C. So you've got to turn and make that straight line. Well, it's quite a hard turn. You can't, no one can get to here and do a right angle. So they tend to go over the line and come back. However, if you go deep into the corner, oh, one of those corners, right? And turn down that centre line. That's, remember, we're practicing corners. If you go into the corner here, you've got more room. And around about here, or halfway there, you look and you cut the corner and you go down with that towards C. The horse will follow your hand and then you keep riding straight in and then you can adjust it. Right? And then when you sit down, when you do it, it's, it's, it's trot, walk, halt, right? Mm -hmm. And you just keep looking at it, trot, sit, trot, push, 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 in some places, you have to start from inside the arena. It happens a lot. So you've got to be able to start like that. Every test finishes like that. It's half a 10 metre circle to turn off the centre line. See, if you, and, and you'd be surprised if you cut the corner, if you, if you cut the corner here, like where everyone else cuts the corner, you came here and you got to the fence here, how are you going to turn down there? Super hard, okay? But if you get right into the corner here, look how much more time you've got. So, especially those turns onto the centre line, you've got to ride a deep corner. And then you can cut that bit, because what we want to see, we want to see smoothness. Nobody can ride a right hand smooth. So you cut the corner, you follow your eyes to your destination. And you ride a and you ride a perfect, straight line, trot, into, into walk, into halt. Easy, yeah. Because they'll go to whatever the, whatever the boundary is. Yeah. Look at that plover. He's saying, I dare you. Oh! <gasps> they just run. <laughs> They're cheeky birds, aren't they? Aren't they? 
Okay, now this into that corner. Now I'm on C, turn and look to me. Now bring his shoulders, head, neck to me. Me, hands come a little forward and then a little down and then you push down into walk and you push into halt and then relax. Lovely, lovely. Yeah, just make him stand there. Just make him just stand there. And, and when you're training them, you must. You always have to train halts. People forget to train halts. Stand there till they no longer want to go. When he no longer wants to go, off you pop. Think, for, think mobility. Yeah, four. Oh, a bit lazy. A bit lazy. Yeah, and trot. And you're going to, have to do a few less steps. Let's do it again. A, just a few less steps would be better. He just made him look just a little lazy. Remember your corner. And we're going to do it off the other rein as well. Into it. Flex out of it. Start to look to see. Bring his shoulders, head, neck, and shoulders around to see towards me. And then you put your hands down a little bit. And you sit and you start to push. Yeah, that's better. And then, ho ho. And then, relax. Aha. Perfectly immobile. Ah. <laughs> now, see, he's just creeping a bit. So you just, all you do is you practice halts. People forget to practice halts. Not always on the centre line, you can practice them around the edge. But every now and again you halt and you stand there in your work because it happens twice in every test. Okay, now when you want him to go, you just think, you just give a little push, you think mobility and go. So sit a little bit, seat and leg and go. That was better. Show me. Oh, I thought you were going left. <laughs> well, no, no, that's where he was looking. <laughs> Change rein. Let's let's do it. Yeah, just do a figure of eight or something down there. Let's come off the left rein. Yeah, see, I've got to know. We've got three of us here. We're all cranky, and and we've got to know where you're about to go because you have to show us. Change rein. You're going to come in on the left rein. It's exactly the same. So when when you get to about there, you've got to flex, right? Push him into the corner, flex him, show me, on off, release, good. <laughs> that's it, that's fine. Flex, release. There's a penalty, of course, if you kill someone. Yeah, good. Now make him a little looser. Now you're going to go into the corner. This is all just test technique. Apart from riding, test technique is really what you have to do. Look at me, turn, cut the corner. Looks like it's doing pretty well. Straight. Mm. All right, hands go down a bit. Push him. And then keep him walk a couple of steps and pull. Oh. And I go, oh. I give a little I give a little verbal signal. Yeah, perfecto. Looks perfect from here. Just stand there till he stops fidgeting. And why don't why don't you, you go. track left and do a loop like you have to do in the one point three? That'd yep. be good practice, wouldn't it? Yep. So I have to know, remember. Ah, where are you going? <laughs> he went over there. Flexion. Did you feel that? Did you feel how he wandered off the line? Yeah, got to be straight. Now out to X, oh, and now back. It's very hard in here because it's a small one. Yeah, very good. So let's do it again. Do the next long side. Go into your corner. Only make it five metres on a 40 metre arena. Just a little, don't go right out to X. So round your left leg. Keep him active. Show him. Hands back together. Out towards it. Now start to bend him back the other way. Don't need to go to X. It's too hard. It makes the second loop too strong, too, too steep you got there. Now around your left leg, show me the change of flexion. Right, perfect. And it's quite hard because it's a short arena. That's why, that's why it doesn't matter if you don't get to X. You can make the, make the loop a little bit uh, easier. Good, good trot. Sit and push to walk. Make it a nice walk transition. Sit and push into walk. Push in, push in, come in. Walk, two, four, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Right. And then... You're going to do your test. The whole test. Do you know it? Okay. Prove it. 1.3. Eli can call it. It's underneath her. Nice, active, medium walk. Hoppa, hoppa. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yep. Up, up. If it's the ground's a bit boggy, you just kick them harder. Right? To make them get, so they pull themselves up out of the sand. Yeah. Okay. And when, you, know, you, can, you can start, uh, beep, horn's gone, right? And you've got 45 seconds. You can get right around the arena easily. You don't panic and charge in. You have got plenty of time when the horn goes. Because this arena's smaller than what it would be. 
Yeah, yeah, it doesn't matter. It just makes it a bit harder. We don't care. Okay. You're just going to ride better. <laughs> It'll make tomorrow seem easy. <laughs> okay. That's right. Yeah. You have all that extra space tomorrow. You can revel in it. Interesting. Tick, 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 tick. Look, 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 look. Ah, go again. Can't make that. I, me, me. Hey, go again. Turn around again. If you just didn't look early enough, go around again, do it again. Start again. Choose, yeah, I'm the letter C. You've got to, you've got to, you, that's when you do turn your head. You've got to cut that corner. And I know most of you start outside. Sometimes you start inside, but you finish inside. Yes. Bring your hands a little bit towards me, then put them down, straighten his neck. Now sit and push. And then, ho ho, and wait. Good, perfect. Wait. When he no whoa. You always stand there for what feels like hours when you practice. So the horse knows it comes in and stands still. Okay, there you go. Straight, come to me. Bring your hands to me. Kick him. Straight, straight, straight. Show me where you're going. Don't go right out to X. Make it, make it only halfway. It's a small arena. Round your right leg. Quietly back. Good, like that. Lovely. Smooth and easy. Better get him round your left leg. Better sit when you go past A, and then sit, push him, and keep riding forward and canter. Ride forward and canter. Yeah, okay, good. Don't pull your hands down. Put your hands up there now to tuck. Now show him. Show him where to go. Hit right. Yeah, when you feel him give his neck, just relax your arms a bit. Just make it a little bit easier. And you made it to the track. Good. 20 metres. Good. Tuck, tuck. Every rhythm. Tuck, tuck. Tuck, tuck. Keep your hands forward. Uh, yeah. Tuck, tuck. Now just stop riding. Just go. Take a breath and it's all the way oh, across the sorry. diagonal. Sorry, don't don't stop riding. Across the diagonal. <laughs> now see your straight line. Your right rein keeps him straight. Now when you have now just ho ho and trot 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 trot. Yeah, a little bit. That had to be a little bit smoother, but it was still very good. Get into the corner. Into the corner. Into the corner again. Rhythm. Make it interesting. I just couldn't. Go around, just go around again. Just yell it out again. A walk. So you sit down about now. Sit down and then push. Yeah, a bit of, you've got to sit and push him into walk. So you, you, you don't sit when you want the movement. You sit before you canter. You sit before you walk. Now let him out, let him out, let his nose out, let your hand, let the reins long, let him longer, 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 getting there. Now left, right, hip, right, hip, left, right, left, right, left, that's better. Now start to gather your reins, push a bit on your stirrups and just quietly gather, flex, quietly gather, quietly gather, flex him. Yeah, that's right, that's a medium walk, he's in now. One, two, three, four, keep that. Have a little look down at his hand again. No, he grabbed a little bit first then. Very hard to go and cast a thousand spectators. Ta, tita, tita. Show me change of deflection. Round your left leg. Round your right leg when you get there. If he's not quite there, push him sideways with your right leg. Yeah, good. And rhythm. And rhythm. And rhythm. And rhythm. Good. Now keep him there with your right leg. Now look down and have a look. Have another look. That's better. Show me deflection. Get it, the track, the track, good. You let your right leg put gets him over there. Da da, rhythm. See if you can get that right leg a little forward onto the girth. And I feel you push the heel down onto the girth. Ta ta, ta ta, ta ta. Good, that was a better transition. Okay, talk to him. Say, good boy. Let the reins out, 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 rhythm, out. Let the reins longer, longer. Longer, longer. Now bend and release him and wait. Bend it, just bend him, release him with your right rein. Bend him, let go, bend him, let go, bend him, and there he goes. That's what we want. That. Now gather up the reins into the corner because you've got to turn, it's a steep turn into the corner. Look, look, look. Yep. Bring your hands a little forward towards me, a little down. So he's straight, straightening his neck like this. Sit and push. And stand there. Super. Good test. When you get that little stretch, that last little bit, 
you'll see it doesn't happen. You know, if, if I see that when I judge, I get so excited, I reach for a knife.